hey guys, I've warmed up, so now I'm going to work on this green V4. It has weird holds and awkward positions and movements. I've done it a few times now, but I still haven't been able to day flash it. And unfortunately, I won't be day flashing it today either. Now, I'll work on this other green V4. It has good holds, but it's hard to maintain tension on the overhang. You also have to swing your feet all the way to the left, and then there's a big move from the last hold to the volume. Now, I'm going to try this yellow V6. It has these big cloud holds. The crux of the problem is the giant hold in the middle. You have to make a big move to it and catch the swing. Then you have to use it as an undercling and go for the next hold. I start from the second move so I can work on that sequence. The move out to the right is really far, and the Gaston puts a lot of strain on my left shoulder. This hold for the left hand also hurt my wrist a little bit. I try to match on the next hold and get a high right foot. I make the mistake of not going for the move when I twist my hip in initially. I'm not sure if I want to go with the dyno or the high right foot. But now, I'll move on to this orange V6 that starts with slopers, has a middle section of 4 pinches, and then ends with more slopers. I think the key to this climb is body positioning and keeping my feet. The wall is quite steep, and I don't think I have the strength to hold a swing if I lose my feet.
This first pinch feels a lot better than all of the sloper so far. The next move is pretty big, and unfortunately, my foot slips here. I try to turn my left hip into the wall to see if I can do the move statically, but it doesn't work out. This time, I get my left foot deeper on the sloper and I'm able to step up and make the next move. The next pinch is thicker and partially blocked, so it was a lot harder to hold. That section of the wall got a little busy, so I decided to work on this green V5 with weird holds. I think the traditional beta is to go straight up with the left hand, but I find it easier to rock over my left foot and use the small hold as an intermediate. I try to get my right foot up, but it feels really bad. This time, I try to use the volumes to get over to the left. Unfortunately, I'm not able to make it work. Now, I move on to this black V5 with big cubes. This is the most powerful and grueling boulder that I've ever encountered so far. It's difficult because I have to take the time to adjust my hands on every hold, and there's a couple of moves where I cut feet. I try to bump my left hand across the far side of the hold, but my foot slips.
This time, I focus on keeping my left foot flat against the cube for maximum friction. I also focus on using my right foot for counter pressure, and I actually felt some pain up my ankle and knee from how hard I was squeezing the hold. I tried going for the top edge a little more dynamically with my right hand, and I was surprised at how easy it felt. Then, I keep my right heel in while matching with my left hand. Then, I'm able to get my feet up and top out. I'm really glad to send this one. It was a bit difficult to project, because if I did it while I was fresh, then I'd be tired after 3 attempts, and it would impact the rest of my day. So I always had to do it a bit later in my sessions. I decide to go back to working on the orange V6. I try to get my right foot a little higher, but it doesn't work out. I decided to try this purple V8 because it doesn't seem so bad until you get to the pinches. Unfortunately, it was a little too difficult for me to do at the end of the session. The holds were just a little too slippery for my feet. But that's going to be the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!